Hey, Tony, um, after your guys kind of lost their way in the second half there, were you happy with the way they pulled it together? And, yeah, and I thought they responded well. You know, I think having some more options off the bench and guys digging in and, and making some tough plays, I thought we got a real nice lift from Caden um, blocking shots and his, his activity in the second half. Ben made some good plays. Um, Jaden scored his 2,000th point, which is, is, is pretty cool. Um, but uh, Reese made a couple of plays. Kihei cramped up at the end. Kihei kind of woke up. But North Carolina Central is, um, you know, they're a, a, those are two older teams playing. They're very old, and their athleticism was real, and their, their pressure on the ball and kind of being in passing lanes. And, and um, they, they got us a little bit standing around. And, again, uh, they're a veteran team with some good – physical athleticism and they played hard made some shots but uh poppy gave us francisco gave us a nice lift and um you know again it's um it was a, a good response when we got a little shaky you're right and so it was nice to see a couple shots go down and got to the free throw line a lot but um credit to nc central for making us work those guys uh, they played hard and they didn't back down and on both ends they were aggressive Tony, you uh, Tony, you touched on Caden's um, activity. Can you just talk a little bit about um, what you expect from him this season and and how he got things kind of turned yeah, around? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, it's so important defensively to have rim protection and guys again that you know whether it's blocking shots, grabbing some tough rebounds. I thought our some of the balls we kept alive on the offensive glass. That was key. You know, JG had four offense rebounds. Caden and Ben, they kept some balls alive. I guess Ben didn't have any. But it seemed like we kept some important offensive plays alive because they went hard to the offensive glass. Um, but Caden, you know, again, just timing, you know, shot blocking. But, but just being an anchor for our defense. I think at times he has been. And I want to really see him establish that role, running the floor. Um, doing the things that um, you know he's showed improvement from this summer and this fall, and um, so I thought that was a good first step. And yeah, I'd like to continue to see more of that for sure. Tony, I know you guys had the Italy trip and preseason and all that stuff, but it seemed very early you wanted to get the new guys into the mix, just kind of get everybody kind of comfortable in a game situation. Yep. And then. When it when it mattered, it was Reese and Kihei mostly that kind of just said, "Okay, this is getting out of hand." Boom, and and kind of took yeah. over. Yeah. Well, I think you know. I mean, obviously, we gave you know Tang got some minutes, just a few minutes, and and Isaac McNeely, who's played well in the summer and all that, and you know that's um, again against a team that get, puts that kind of uh, pressure on the ball and in the passing lanes. I thought we looked a little hesitant. We need to clean it up a little bit. Uh, even Reese and Kihei early on did that, but. Uh, those are good experiences for um, Isaac and, and certainly, you know, Ben being there, I guess the new guys. But uh, just because I didn't play some of the other guys, there'll be opportunities, I believe, for them. And um, But again, it's nice to have options and it's good experiences. But yeah, you have to go with, I thought Armand got us off to a good start too. I didn't mention him. And uh, But you got to go with, you know, those guys who have the experience or who's playing well. And we do have some more options this year. Coach, I. Jaden and, and Ben play together in certain lineups at times. They also split minutes back and forth there. Do you think yep. that they'll sort of swap off there depending on the opponent? Obviously, Ben gives yeah, them shooting, Jaden. Correct. I just think, you know, this there's that versatility. They can play together depending upon that. It's nice to have rim protection, which, you know, neither of them are, are like Caden or Poppy. But, um, you know, Jaden wasn't his typical self scoring the ball, and we maybe, you know, got to find ways to get it to him. But it's nice that they can – give each other rest. I thought last year we played guys um, too many minutes at times, and so it was a little more balanced. I mean, I see, um, you know, obviously our mom played 34 and Reese did, but um, last year we were riding a lot of guys for, you know, 35, 36 minutes. So at times they'll play together, they'll split um, just who's playing well, and there's competition in practice, which is a good thing, but they all pull for each other. So Tony, last last week you talked about the improved shooting that y'all had in the offseason. 11 made threes. That's more than y'all had in any one game last season. Really? Wow. Just how much does it change kind of the game for y'all when you are able to hit from deep? Yeah, well, yeah, it opens some things up in a team that, you know, they were kind of, it's interesting, they were, they were pressuring, but they also would jam the lane on you, so you had to touch the paint and then spray it out. But, yeah, I thought the Kihei hit a big th three off of a nice pass from Ben, and then Ben hit a nice, obviously, three as well. 
Um, but it's it's hard when you know there's going to be games sometimes where the shot's not going in, so you got to find other ways. But uh, last year was, was a challenge, and I think the <clears throat> two areas certainly that have improved this year. I don't know if we're a great outside shooting team, but better, and we have more depth, and those are two important things. And we were close last year many times. Tony, to follow up kind of what we were talking about at media day, but um, defense connectedness, did you like what you saw? I, I know there were breakdowns at times. Yeah, stretches. I think they were really good in the middle of the floor with some, um, you know, some good stuff. They run good actions. I knew that when we played them. They, they're really, uh, they're going to test you and they'll, they won't, they'll make you be patient. If they got something in transition, great, but then they have a ton of good actions. They run stuff in the middle of the floor. Sometimes they're setting the ball screen, slipping it, and they gave us a little trouble. I thought we had flashes of real, we scrambled a little, little more and played harder, which I thought was good, a touch more disruptive than we've been, which I liked, but uh, certainly some areas to clean up. And we were running into a lot of screens that we probably shouldn't. But uh, when we made some mistakes, it was nice to see a few few steals and a few block shots. So hopefully that'll keep getting better. Maybe this is obvious, but how quickly did Ben pick up your system? And uh, it took him a little. It's still, I mean, he, I think there's a process. You know, I, I remember when Sam came in here. And by the way, I'm so happy for Sam, how well he's doing. But uh, all of our guys that have come in, and Sam was older, uh, Trey Murphy, our two most recent transfers, even though they're older and experienced, you're just – playing with different guys. Um, we're demanding and asking for different things. And so there's still an adjustment, and I think he'll get more and more comfortable with it. But uh, it takes him a while, and that makes you even, I think, understand and appreciate more for our first years. Like, whoa, that's, that's even a bigger adjustment. And um, so, but I, I like his passing and his feel and his, his IQ along with his, um, his skills and those things. Armand clearly looked great shooting. He looked like he played a pretty complete game overall with rebounding assists. I saw he worked out with Justin Anderson this summer. Do you know? Well, Justin will take all the credit <laughs> in the world for it. Like it's, all, it's all Justin. It's all Justin. <laughs> what no. else did you see him develop in the offseason in his own time that, like, that yeah. you can see this growth that we saw tonight? No, he just, you know, yeah, he went to work. I mean, he went to work in the, you know, all of our guys, we, we worked harder this spring. Um, and, and then obviously the trip helped, but he, he went and spent some time um, in Houston playing in a really good setting with John Lucas and some of those guys. Obviously, he was down, I think it was you know in Florida where Justin was. And he just put his head down, didn't say a whole lot, and uh, got after it. And I believe most of our guys did that. And your work will be shown for what you've done. Doesn't mean you're perfect, but um, there's usually a correlation to guys that get after it and really get after it. And I'm so, so happy that. Um, he had a game like that, and I, I hope he'll keep coming. But um, that was good, and I think it was a direct result of what you just said.